Hello, hello, good evening. Is everybody there? Hello, good evening, hello, good teacher. Evening. Good evening. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. All right, great. So, well, welcome one more time. How are you? Good, good. All right. That's that's good to hear. Yes. It's it's a great thing to hear. So, well, let's begin. So, uh today today we continue with a quick practice about neighborhoods and uh and yes we're going we're going to work on uh, words like a lot a few a little many much and so on all right so yes let's begin okay let's begin so we are going to first we're going to look at a map okay we're going we're going to look at a map and uh, give directions in it. I mean, give locations in it. All right. So let me share my screen. All right. So here we are. Here we are. Uh, look at this. I'm going to ask you where where these places are. Okay, like for example, is there a, is there a bookstore in town or is there a pet shop in here? Uh, are there any supermarkets? And you tell me where they are. Like for example, it's on the corner of or it's next to it is between it is uh across from and uh, answers like those so let's do it okay let me full screen this let me let me just uh, display it uh, on full screen yes so uh what about this all right so please uh let me ask uh, let me ask carlos carlos is there a supermarket near here? Yes, yeah, um, there, there, there is. And where is it? Um, I I confused right now. Yeah, and I mean, uh, look at this map. Look at this map. <laughs> and and where is the supermarket? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the supermarket uh, is next to bookstore. Next to the bookstore, yes. Yes, that's correct. It's next to the bookstore. All right, very good. Uh, you can ask a question to any of your classmates. Please, select anybody. Anybody, okay, get around. Okay. Um, really? Uh, okay, Emma Morales, yes? Okay, okay yes, okay, Miguel, now. yes. So ask a question to Miguel. Is is there a music store? Is there a music store? Music store is uh, on the corner, the San Zono Street and Rosa Silva Avenue. Great, great, very good. Now, uh, Miguel, ask a question to any of your classmates, please. Uh, well, uh, digamos, uh, Jaime. Okay, yes, go ahead. Uh, well, where is that? Where? Or you can you can also ask: Is there is Art there is a, a pet shop, for example? Yeah, good, good, very good. So, hi, mate. Is there a pet shop? Uh, 
I may. Mm, uh, probably he can't hear you. Uh, ask uh, somebody else, please. Uh, well, uh, Georgina Cruz. Okay, great. So, Georgina, go ahead. Yeah. Yo pregunto y me iban a preguntar. Oh, he, he's going to, he asked already. Can you repeat your question, Miguel? Well, uh, yes. Uh, the question is, uh, there are pet shop. Yeah. Is is there a pet shop? Yes, there are. Town? He is on the corner of Santos Dormont and Rosa de Silva Avenue. Yeah. Pet shop. Oh, yes. Well, let me see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The pet shop is not there. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. So. I'm sorry. It's here. Uh, the pet shop is um, on Amelia Street, across fast food restaurant. Yeah, across from. Very good. Across from. All right. Look, it's across from. Very good. Very good, guys. So. Yes, uh, now Georgina, last question. Please ask a question to to any of your classmates, please. Okay, voy a preguntarle a... Um, Victor, ¿ya le preguntaron? Uh, no, no, uh, we haven't asked Victor. Yes, ask Victor. Victor, there are a flower shop near here? Is there, he asked, is there a flower shop? Is there a flower shop? Uh, Victor, is your microphone working today? Victor, is your microphone working today? Uh, probably it isn't. So uh, can you ask, uh, can you ask another person, please? Okay, voy para Sulma, ya le preguntaron? Uh, no, no, ask Suma. That's a good idea. Suma, is there a flower shop? Flower shop, yes. It's, um, it's on a corner of Santos, Dormont Street, and Rosas and Silver Avenue. Wow, very good. Yes, that's a good answer. Yes, so it's on the corner of uh, Santos Dumont Street. And uh, Rosa is Silva Avenue. Great, great. Very good, very good. Well, let's continue, right? Let's, let's, have, uh, let's have more practice. In the, and let's also check something new. Uh, does anybody have a question so far? Questions? No? All good? All yeah. right. Yes, uh, let's move on. Okay, let's move on. So, uh, last class we talked about uh, these words, quantifiers, like uh, words like how many and how much. So, let's take a look at some examples. So, here we have uh, some examples of quantifiers, like how many? And how much? Okay, so look, uh, I told you yesterday, yesterday, uh, we discussed that we use quantifiers like how many and uh, a lot, a lot, Ooh, like many, a lot, a few, many, any and known uh, with things that we can count, right? With things that we can count. We can use a few, many, and any, all right? With things that you can count with your fingers or things that are plural. Son, lo utilizamos para cosas que se pueden contar o cosas que se pueden pluralizar. O sea que podemos decir en plural. Like, uh, for example, a computer and uh, a phone, okay, and uh, restaurants and uh, 
shops can you name other other things and places and, and other things in town that you can count can you measure uh, can you give me more examples of things that you can count things in town like uh, for example I, you can count restaurants other things that you can say one restaurant two restaurant oh one shop two shops are there other things that, do you remember other things you can count like um, more examples houses, houses. Cool. yes schools. houses say again schools schools yes schools cars, cars. yes what else parks all right cars yeah somebody said cars parks. Parks. Oh, parks. 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 Yes. You can count parks too. Right? So those pets. are pets. Yeah, that's that's good too. So we can count supermarkets. Supermarkets. Of course. Great, great. Good examples. But what about things that we cannot count? Like, for example, crime. We can hey. say again. Hey. Fear. Hair. All right, hair. Yes, you cannot count hair. Fear. Those water. are water. Yes, those are like concepts, concepts, emotions, and things you cannot count. Can you count, uh, what about uh, garbage? Can you count garbage? Mm, yeah, Luis said hair we got that can you count garbage can you count garbage like this garbage Teacher, what are what are these garbage what, what's garbage uh like yes yes like trash like uh the things you throw away okay las cosas que tira the things you throw away basura yeah Garbage, can you count one garbage, two garbages, and two and three garbages? Not possible, not possible. So those are uncannable, uh, uncannable now. Yes, all right, good. And uh, look, here are, here are uh, more examples of this. We have uh, we have here more examples. So let's let's check them out. So look, we use this one uh, for for uh, for things that we can count, and we use non-count quantifiers for things that we cannot count. So uh, we are going to discuss we're going to discuss the things that we can count and things that we cannot count and let's talk about our city so let's make some questions all right and uh, when you answer when you answer please use these words words like a lot for count now and you can use it for non-count nouns uh, you can use a few only for count nouns like for example there are there are a few there are a few supermarkets near my neighborhood or there are there are just a few cars in my neighborhood and uh, there is a there is a little garbage. There is a very little garbage in my neighborhood. You can use many only for uh, count nouns. So we use many only for count nouns and uh, we use much only for non-count nouns. For example, uh, there are many old, old buildings in downtown. 
and uh, there is much garbage down in downtown right there are many old buildings right and well uh, teacher yes sorry uh, i have any question you you have a question please yes uh, i I see the work. Uh, maybe case oh, I can see yeah, I point. I point. Uh, there is a difference. In usage, in usage, is there a difference? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So please, let's think of questions we can ask about places in town. So uh, let's let's add those those questions in the chat. Like for example, uh, are there any supermarkets? Are there any supermarkets in uh, in your or near your neighborhood, near your neighborhood. Are there any supermarkets near your neighborhood? Uh, we can uh, we can also ask. What else? Oh, is there a is there a gas station? near near your neighborhood can you think of another question uh, well there is many traffic for example oh good no. good good that's a good one is there a lot of traffic a lot. yeah is there a lot no. of traffic in uh, near let's say near yes near your neighborhood okay neighborhood. yeah good that's a good question Lily. all right um is there a lot of traffic near your neighborhood yeah okay is there a lot of traffic near your neighborhood uh is there any other question please anybody any other question uh please you can also share your questions in the chat Let's uh, share more questions, please. You can share uh, the questions in the chat. Yes. Are there are there many rain in your house? All right. Good. Are there? Are there many rain? Lluvia. Oh. Um. We we can say. We we can say like, does it rain a lot in your neighborhood? does it rain does it rain a lot in your neighborhood okay or in your city let's say in your city all right okay does it rain a lot in your city no right these are good questions so uh let's yes let's take a picture of them let's upload them in the chat and you discuss uh, these questions with your uh, with your classmates all right so you are this one just, just a second all right hey somebody Fatima said is there much noise near your neighborhood yes does it rain a lot in your city yes those are really good questions okay so uh, let's work for a minute. Let's work for a minute in small groups and uh, we discuss these questions, okay? So let's do it. All right, here we go. Please accept the invitation. Your questions are in the WhatsApp chat too. All right, good. 
very good. No. Victor creo que no tiene. Okay, yes, Victor doesn't have a, a microphone, I think. Si no, no tiene. Okay. Okay. Are there many uh, gas station in your in your neighborhood, uh, Fatima? No, there aren't. Okay, yes. All right. Uh, Zulma, is there a lot of traffic near your neighborhood? Um, yes. Uh, Puede repetir, por favor. Is there a gas station near your neighborhood? Gas station. Yes. There are few. Yes, there are few. Yes, there are a few. Okay. Is there a lot of traffic near your neighborhood? Excuse me? Is there a lot of traffic near your neighborhood? Milton, can you hear me? Milton. Milton, can you hear me? All right, Jaime, you're joining too. Okay. All right, let's do this. Can you guys hear me? Yes, okay. Uh, sorry, we uh, we were working in groups, so I think uh, probably you had trouble joining. Tuvieron quizás problemas para unirse, pero we're we're just yeah. coming back. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. So we will have a, a good time here. My my problem is with with internet connection. Really, Milton. And my problem is oh, with, hi, with, Milton, sir. with internet connection. Uh, okay, your internet connection. I imagine. I imagine. Yeah. Yes, it, it, it might be difficult. You know, a good idea is also getting uh, one of those. Uh, I think it's LAN cable uh, or or LAN uh, inter internet cable. So it, really, it, I, I the blue cables. I am. I I I am using my my phone. Oh, you're in your phone. Oh, be, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So that might be the problem. That might be the problem. You get closer with, to your router. With, with the signal is good, I don't have a problem. But sometimes connect and disconnect. Connect and disconnect. So it connects and disconnects. All right. Yeah. And uh, are you on? Uh, are you connected to Wi-Fi or or uh, or your phone uh, data plan? Uh, no, I had a plane. Oh, I got you. I got you. 
Yes, yeah. yes. So that, that sometimes doesn't work. Okay. All right. Good. Very good, guys. So that was a very good practice. But uh, before we move on, before we continue, uh, we are going to we're going to learn something new. First, uh, just to I will assign you a little homework. Primero les voy a dar una pequeña tarea para que avancen. Uh, I want you to please uh, do the knowledge check on the last the last exercise. All right. Complete all the knowledge checks and also work on the reading exercise. Va a completar todos los uh, knowledge checks de este, de este, de esta unidad o de esta sección. Y también trabajen en la lectura que está al final. The world in one neighborhood. Que sería esto, se los compartiré en pantalla. Okay, se los compartiré en pantalla. And if you have any question, si tienen alguna pregunta, me lo hacen saber. Sería que completen esto hasta acá, okay? Porque mañana haremos el midterm, okay? Entonces, eh, prácticamente hemos cubierto los, los temas como de uh, there is and there are, many and so on. Eh, también sobre save, how much, and how many. Entonces, eh, vamos completando los knowledge checks, esos knowledge, uh, knowledge checks, y luego trabajaremos en, el, en, esta, en esta lectura. Si tienen, si tienen alguna pregunta, ustedes saben de que me pueden encontrar en el chat de WhatsApp si necesitan, necesitan ayuda, ok, if you need help. Uh, yeah, now we're moving on. Okay, we're gonna move on. And uh, we are going to learn. We're going to learn about uh, about this. All right, we're going to learn about appearance. All right. Vamos a aprender sobre la apariencia. Okay, we're going to describe appearance. So let's do it. Let's do it. So let me share my screen. Look, where were we? Yes, uh, so you, this is the reading I was I was telling you about, okay? And uh, yes, here it is. So we're going to learn about appearance, okay? What's appearance? Appearance is how a person looks like, okay? Es como se mira una persona, right? So uh, here are some things, okay? Some, uh, some, uh, words for describing people. So for example, look at her hair. Look at her hair. Look, she has, she has long brown hair. What about her? She has short, look, short blonde hair. What about this woman? She has straight, she has straight black hair. What about this man? He has curly, like curly, red hair. And uh, what about this man? Can you see? He has no hair. So he is bold. He is bold. And what about uh, this man? Oh, he has a mustache, a mustache, and a beard. One more time. He has a mustache, right, and a beard. All right? ¿Qué es beard, perdón? Beard. A uh, beard. Beard ¿Sí? is a, a, la barba. Oh, okay. It's and that beard patient. is like the animal. Say again? Teacher, teacher. Uh, Yes, yes, uh, uh, it's the same question. Yes. Eh, bueno, se lo voy a hacer en español. Eh, la okay. diferencia entre, hay un poquito, porque oso y, y barba, como que la pronunciación, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre esos? ¿Entre cuáles? Entre oso, porque beer y beer, ¿cuál es la pronunciación y diferencia entre 
Barba y oh, Oso. Oh, I got you, I got you. <risa> Barba, uh, tiene una D, al, no, eh, en ese caso es Beard. Y el beard. Oso es Bear. Lo que pasa Bird. es que se ah, escriben okay. muy parecido. Muy parecido, okay. ajá. Ajá, that's, that's the thing, spelling. The spelling is very similar. But yes, yes. They, are, uh, they are different words, okay? They, uh, they are different sounds too. So uh, a person can have a mustache and a beard. Uh, and a per and uh, you can say also, uh, there are many bears in Russia. Uh -huh. There are many birds in Russia. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank yes. you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Oh, look. These are words for describing people's hair. Now, let's see words for describing people's age. Age. Okay. Like, for example, young. All right. Look. He is young. What's young? Probably. Somebody who is a uh, who is a uh, from what zero to fifteen to twenty years old. Oh, she's a middle aged woman, like probably in her thirties. Okay, thirties or fifties. Oh, look, he's elderly. Elderly is similar to old, but elderly is more polite. Elderly is como un poco más, como un poco más formal, okay, o más, más cortés, si se podría decir, que decir old, porque old soy un poquito más fuerte, digamos. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's as to age. So one more time, young, middle-aged, and elderly, right, young, middle-aged, and elderly okay then looks all right look we have here looks looks are like appearance okay looks es como la apariencia okay so for example we have for men for men we usually say handsome like you say oh i'm a handsome man or uh, i remember my father was my father was a handsome man Okay, and uh, a woman we can say is pretty, so you can say, Oh, my girlfriend is pretty, my wife is pretty, or my mother is pretty, pretty. And uh, we also use the words good looking for men and woman, and uh, for a male and a female, man or woman, and it's okay. And it's okay to use uh, good looking for men or women. All right. Um, then uh, we have words for height. Okay. Height. Look. Short. Short. Fairly short. Like, uh, not tan bajito, ¿verdad? Like, fairly short. Then, uh, medium height. She is medium height. Okay? Like, not very tall, not very short, not fairly short. Like, uh, like 170, like me, you know, medium height. Oh, pretty tall. You know, pretty tall. And then, very tall. Oh, somebody who's like two meters high. Okay, so pretty tall and a very tall. All right, so one more time. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. So those are words for describing height. Uh, do you have uh, any questions like, teacher, how do you say this and how do you say that or teacher how do you say colocho teacher how do you say pelo liso do you have any questions about describing people's uh, appearance yes nope 
All good? Lo que quieres es de que describamos, no describamos nosotros o a alguien más. No, no, no. I'm asking you if you, uh, yo les, tienen preguntas, o sea, sobre vocabulario, oh. digamos, quieren saber cómo se oh. dice colocho, cómo se dice esto. Oh, okay. No. How do you say sucio? Say again. How do you say sucio? Dirt. Dirt, dirty. Dirty, yes. Uh, yeah, but when it oh. comes to somebody's appearance, cuando uh -huh. nos referimos como a la apariencia de alguien, que digamos que siempre anda los, los zapatos, uh, los zapatos sucios y que anda la camisa ah, acabada, ajá, exacto, y el exacto. cabello desarreglado. And you can say, he looks sloppy. Look sloppy. Sloppy. Yeah, sloppy. sloppy. Okay. Ahí está en el sloppy. chat. Sloppy es como alguien que, como de apariencia oh, yeah. un poquito descuidada. Bye. Oh. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, yes. Pero se lo voy a hacer en español. ¿Cómo, por ejemplo, para cuando necesitamos describir a alguien para decir, por ejemplo, los tonos de piel o al grupo étnico al que pertenece? Ah. Sin escucharse racista, ¿ah? ¿eh? Oh, okay. It's okay to say black. Okay, black is okay. Porque no todos los, no todos, no toda la gente de raza negra es... African American, porque el, let's say like the euphemism, o la palabra como cortés, o politically correct, o correcta políticamente, como se diga, eh, correctamente política, eh, es uh, African American, pero no todos los negritos son de ascendencia africana, sino que algunos son caribeños, por ejemplo. Entonces, black is okay, he is black, black is, a, is okay. So use black. Black is no problem. Other words might be a little offensive. Like, uh, for example, Negro is, is, the, is the very offensive word, the N word, the, the word that people don't want to hear. Um, entonces, la palabra como negro, así como lo decimos nosotros, y así como lo escribimos nosotros, es la palabra que consideran ellos ofensiva. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ah, sí, sí te, perdón, yes. teacher, sí, porque yo tuve una experiencia eh, el año, bueno, no sé si el año pasado o el antepasado, que fuimos a una competencia a Estados Unidos y estábamos ahí hablando con una cierta persona uh -huh. y nos hicieron como referencia que no dijéramos la palabra black, porque como que ahí estamos en una zona donde había bastante gente de raza negra, pero que como que era como ofensivos para ellos. O sea, nosotros refiriéndonos a que esa persona como estamos diciendo, es, 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 es negra, ¿verdad? O sea, entonces, como yo decir, a, aquí hay muchas, aquí hay muchas personas negras, entonces, pero como que me dijeron, no utilices esa palabra, pero nos dijeron una, pero no recuerdo muy bien, por eso, Ajá, quizás, hay, yeah, no sé yeah. si hay algo otro modo de, de, de referirnos a eso. Ajá, porque algunos utilizan African American, African American, mm. pero como les decía, eh, como les decía, African American eh, no siempre, eh, no siempre, no siempre cubre. Uh, that's really offensive. Don't use it. Uh, uh, African American es, es como no cubre toda la población africana porque hay mucha hay mucha población, perdón, uh, negra, digamos de gente de raza negra que eh, viene del Caribe, no son africanos. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, as far as I'm concerned, it's okay to use, uh, yes, they call each other that. Entre ellos, among them, entre ellos, si se dicen the end word, but it's okay. But another person from a different ethnicity, o una persona de una raza o grupo diferente que les llame así, eh, se le puede tomar como una ofensa. Okay. So, so, yes, black is okay. Porque se aparecen sus IDs. Color, black. It's okay. okay. Pero la palabra que es ofensiva es la que comienza con N y que se parece mucho a la del español. That is offensive. La, la, la niga, niga. That one. Don't say it. Don't say it. No va a buscar el video en YouTube. Okay. In the movies, it is very common to say it. Say again? In, in the movies, uh, watch the movies, it's yes. very common to say it. Yes, but yeah, yeah, but uh, you, uh, you notice they call each other. It's between them, right? But another person from a different group, 
from a different ethnicity cannot say it. Like a white person calling a black person the N word, it's not okay. Or a Latino like us calling another person the N word, it's not okay. So that's the race, the only race, uh, race issue. Yes. Uh, is there any other question? Sí, sí, teacher. Yes, Perdone yes. Que, que, que incurre en el tema, pero voy con esto de la... <laughs> eh, por ejemplo, con las personas asiáticas, con, con, con los americanos, con, con latinos, que, que la gente dice erróneamente el americano, pero americanos somos los que hemos nacido aquí, ¿verdad? Uh, Entonces, yes. para aclarar ahí, teacher, por favor. Like, uh, you mean the, you mean the, the American people? O, o, ¿Cuál es su pregunta? Porque primero me dijo los asiáticos y después me dice de los... So, ¿en, ¿A qué grupo se quiere? A, a ambos grupos, con... porque, porque probablemente alguna vez pod, podamos interactuar con alguien de ambas culturas y, y no, no quiere uno parecer que habla mal con ellos, ¿verdad? O Ajá. sorpresa. Ajá, por favor. So, for example, for example uh, a word that you can use like in general, una palabra que se puede utilizar como en general para una persona que, que es de que es como de ascendencia asiática, que es la primera que se refirió, podría decir Asian, Asian, como asiático, Asian. Ok, Asian, en lugar de decir Chinese, porque si usted le dice Chinese a un japonés, se ofende, y mucho. Sí, sí, teacher, por eso preguntaba. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's chinito. Uh. That's not okay. No le gusta. Como, it's like somebody calls us Mexican. We don't like Mexican, you know, like, uh, like we don't yes. like people to call us Mexican, pero así nos dicen a todos. Así es. Eh, teacher, en este caso, digamos, si yo me estoy relacionado con, con varias personas, la palabra, uh, como, como es que se dice, uh, guys, uh, uh, está bien, o sea, para referirme a todo el grupo. Como yeah. decir, yo llego a un grupo donde hay asiáticos, ne uh, negros, eh, sudamericano lo que sea yo digo hello guys y a eso estoy haciendo referencia a todo verdad it's okay yes yes guys is is okay it's for any it's uh, for any any type of person I okay mean. significa como decir muchachos uh, something like okay. that yes so it's no problem yes okay thank you teacher all right very welcome very welcome so uh well look uh we are going to do this i know that you don't like using your camera much okay no nos gusta mucho utilizar la cámara okay which is okay you know you you're not forced to no, no tienen la, la gran gran obligación de hacer uso but now we will play uh we'll play a little game vamos a hacer como un Pequeño juego. It's a guessing game, como de adivinar. So we are going to use our camera. Okay, we we are going to use our camera, and uh, uh, we are going to describe people in our in the in the class. Okay, vamos a escribir a un compañero de la clase y vamos a hacer que otro compañero adivine de quién estamos hablando. So we describe a person and you guess who we are talking about. So I guess we have to use our camera, okay? We have to use our camera and uh, describe a person and uh, you guess who this person is. So for example, I am going to start. So, uh, he is a he is a middle age i think i think he is a fairly short and uh and uh, yeah he is good looking he has short hair who is he who is he anybody take a guess take a guess please it's Mike. All right. Yes. Yes. It's Mike. Okay. It's Mike. So, uh, yes, we are going to, we are going to use, uh, 
these words to describe uh, to describe the people in the in the room okay to describe uh, our classmates and you guys you know just take a guess of uh, who this person is okay so yeah let's practice let's practice so uh mike you are going to describe a person and uh, our classmates are going to guess who this person is okay okay yeah go ahead please uh, first uh, is a a, a mustache and barb he has a, and barb. a beard and a and a mustache all right yeah okay. uh, handsome all right he's handsome uh, and pretty tall and he's pretty tall pretty tall who is it is you teacher it, it's me <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right thank you thank you so i'll i'll take another guess okay uh she is uh i think i think she is pretty uh she is tall i think she is tall and uh she is a middle aged uh, middle-aged woman and uh, yes she she is good looking and uh, she has she has a she has a long straight hair who is she I don't know maybe Georgina, Georgina. 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 Uh, all right, we're you're guessing. All right, yeah, keep going, keep, keep going. It's not I, her. I really, I really, really short. Who is he? <laughs> Who is he? Who is he? Georgina. Liliana. No, it's not her. Well, you guys uh, take a guess. Take a guess, please. Ulma? Yes, it's Ulma. Ulma. Yeah, it's Ulma. <laughs> yes, it's Ulma. All right, good. So now, Ulma, it's your turn. All right. Uh, hey, you guys, if you cannot use your camera, you can put like a picture in your Zoom profile. También la pueden componer como una foto a su perfil de Zoom. Así como lo tiene, bueno, Luis ya no está, pero así como lo tiene Zuma, puede agregar una foto suya a su perfil de Zoom también para que lo, lo vean sin necesidad de activar su cámara. Okay, great. So, uh, yes, Zuma, you describe a person and we guess who this person is. Okay, this person have um, short hair. Okay, this person has short, short hair. Black hair is um, Chinese uh, ace. Okay. And have the the um, hand in your in your barbie. And he has oh he has his hand in his chin. It's Carlos. Chin. All right, yeah, yeah, that that's that's him. You know, good. It's Carlos. Very it's good. All right, Carlos. Now uh, it's your turn. Can you describe uh, another person and we guess who you're talking about? Please. Oh, uh, yes, your microphone. Let me. Okay. Wait, wait. Your microphone is. All right, go. Okay. Uh, Sorry, teacher. It's okay. He has a. Uh, uh, short hair and he looks. Uh, middle age. Yes. Uh, teacher, ahí en middle age eh, nos estamos refiriendo en, entre un rango de 30 a 50 más o 50 menos. 50 años, algo así. Ajá, sí, sí como sí, un... Ah, pues sí. sí, middle age. And she has a, a little mustache. And, a ver, ¿cómo puedo decir? Como... 
fornido o, o no muy gordito. Uh, let me see, let me see. You, you can say like, if it's uh, fornido, you can say like muscular. Muscular, así como medio cholito. Uh, really tall. You can say, uh, mm -hmm. you can say muscular. If, <laughs> medio comidito. <laughs> He uh, looks uh, muscular. <laughs> yes, okay. All right. Oh, probably average. Yeah, okay. So he looks muscular. Uh, probably not right now. No, es que no es como que luzca musculoso, pero es como rellenito de su cara, o sea, algo así. Oh, I see. I see. You can say a little, a little heavy. A little heavy. Oh, yeah, okay. a little heavy. Yeah. Yeah, a little heavy. He, he looks a little heavy. Okay. Who is he? A little chubby. <laughs> yeah, or chubby too. A little chubby too. Who is it? Who is it, guys? Maybe. Jaime. Jaime? You think? Yes, is it I is think. it is it true? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, good, good. So we got it. We got it. Uh oh, but he's muscular, you see? Good. So uh Jaime, it's uh, your turn. Please. Yeah, it, it's a, the it's a little dark in the background. Hey Jaime, it's your yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. You describe you describe somebody. And uh, you describe somebody okay. and we guess who this person is. Yes, go. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Let me check. So, but I can see. Can you see the people okay, okay. in the meeting? Okay, okay. Okay. All right, okay. Can you see it now? Can you see a uh, class? Okay, okay. Yes. Now, who are you going to describe? She is pretty. Okay, great. Let me name. Me cambian la foto de repente. They're, they're cheating. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. You can try later. Uh, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. You can try later. Okay. Uh, Milton, uh, give it a try. I can see pictures. Really? Okay. Uh, all right. That was too easy. So, Mil Milton, uh, yes. Can you describe a, a classmate and uh, somebody else guesses who this person is? Milton? Milton, can you describe a, a classmate and your and uh, we guess who this person is? Yes. All right. Yes. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, 
I think he, uh, he is having a connection, okay. connectivity issues. So uh, Luis, Luis, why don't you try? I think Milton has a connection problems. Yes, look, he's not okay. in the meeting. Yes. Okay, don't worry. Uh, yeah, give it a try, please. Sorry. Uh, uh, she has brown skin, uh, maybe long black hair, uh, maybe she's fit. Who All right. Is oh, you, you can say like, uh, yeah, I think fit is a good word. Fit is a good word, yeah. She is in, in good shape, you can say, like, como está en buena forma, right? She's in oh, good okay. shape. That's... Yeah, she is in, in, in good shape, all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she is in good shape, and uh, what else? Uh, long black hair. She has she have long black hair, and she's uh, brown skin. All right, and uh, she is, you can say, Ten. Okay, she is ten. Como bronceado, you see. Oh, okay. And She's we ten. also use uh, the word brunette for moreno or morena. Okay. Brunette. We also use the word brunette for moreno or morena. Okay. Uh, she's brunette. Uh, I uh, say skin or only brunette. Uh, it's it. Brunette is okay. Okay. Uh, we understand thanks. only brunette. She's brunette, uh, she has long black hair, and she is, uh, she's in good shape, okay. or she's in shape. Who is she? Right. Mm. I don't know, is it Lily? Yes, you're right. Okay, great, great, <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay, I have a, a little uh, one last guess for everyone. And uh, yes, so uh, she is, uh, yeah, she's good looking. She is a middle aged and uh, she has a uh, long wavy hair, not curly, but wavy. Hay una diferencia entre curly, curly es como bien colochito, and wavy is como ondulado. And she has long wavy hair. Who is she? I don't know. It's Uma. Uma? What, who do you think, Lily? Georgina. It's Georgina, yes. Yes, Georgina? it's she. All right. It's she. She has a <laughs> wavy hair. Okay. Great. Very good, guys. So I guess uh, I guess uh, time is over. Time is over. And uh, tomorrow we have our midterm test. Si ustedes quieren, lo pueden comenzar haciendo en su, por su cuenta, pero también lo vamos a resolver mañana y vamos a continuar practicando este tema. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. All right. So, uh, also complete the knowledge checks. Completen los knowledge checks. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me lo hacen saber. All right? So, the 3.11 is, right? Yes, yes. Until 3.11. Yes. Okay. True. Ok. I got so okay. I'll see you tomorrow. And yes, normal classes tomorrow. We have classes. Tenemos clases normales aunque sea aunque sea el día del padre. No hay cambios. So okay. please celebrate before class. Celebrating antes okay. de clase, please. Okay. I understand. Okay. Bye. Right. Happy Thank Father's you. Day. Bye. Bye. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good night.